So, today we are in the Midland Hotel in Morecambe and uh, we are having an opening of two exhibitions. And uh, the first one is the result of seven months of competition for local photographers for the best Morecambe Bay photo. And we've chosen 27 best photos which we are presenting today. Uh, they are all representing the beauty of Morecambe Bay and we have most of the photographers here with us and very soon we will announce the winner of the overall competition which everyone is excited hopefully about another competition uh, is uh, showing uh, photos made about 50 years no exactly 50 years ago on set of kubrick's film barry linden and those are photos by larry mclaren photographer who was working with kubrick on multiple film sets My name's Martin Neal, I'm originally from Suffolk, but I'm working up here. Uh, I was fortunate enough to have five of my images that were selected for the, the competition. Uh, various subjects I've taken uh, predominantly after finishing work, actually. Uh, it's been very encouraging, it's been a way of improving work in photography, trying to find the uh, different subjects and find something different that you can portray in a different light. How have you found the exhibition today? It's been really good. I've enjoyed meeting people as well because obviously as photographers we post a lot on social media which is very faceless but now it's actually nice to put faces to the names uh, and meet people. And the Bay Film Festival have done a wonderful job in, in uh, promoting uh, and increasing awareness obviously of Morgan Bay and, and of our photography skills so it's been a win-win all around. What um, advice would you give to any photographers that are looking to submit their work for possibly next year's festival? Get yourself out there, uh, shoot as many pictures as you can. I mean, I'm far from being a professional. That is my tool, that's all I use. Uh, and with the apps available now, you can take some incredible shots. Uh, just looking for that different perspective, just trying to find something a little bit special. Uh, my name's Selden Scott. Uh, I'm from Morecambe. I live in Morecambe. I live and work in Morecambe. Uh, I've photographed the bay for 15 years or so now, so I've uh, got plenty of experience of the beauty of the place. And it's a wonderful exhibition. It's, it's nice that uh, these kind of events come to the town, yes. Uh, today. It's terrific. I'm intrigued by the uh, Kubrick photos. Uh, uh, seen behind the scenes uh, is always interested in these things. I'm, uh, I do love film, and I'm a big fan of Stanley Kubrick. I think it's also been good seeing the, the other photographs from amateurs like myself in the exhibition. You know, some terrific work. Some really good work. Yeah, I've thoroughly enjoyed it. I mean, it's, uh, it is an art-loving area. There's the, uh, the Silverdale Artists Collectives, and uh, you see, when you look along the prom, you see various artworks along the prom, and it's, it's lovely to see visitors and locals in the town enjoying the art. So it's an important part of, of the area, yes. Uh, and like I say, that uh, locals get involved as well, as we've seen with the photography exhibition. Uh, do you have any inspiration for the photograph that you submitted that uh, won the festival? Um, well, just the bay itself, really. It came after uh, taking, uh, I've taken literally hundreds of photos of the bay, and it was sunsets that uh, that grabbed my attention first of all. Uh, my wife gave me a camera one birthday and uh, encouraged me to go out not long after we moved here and it was the Morecambe Bay sunsets in the thing and obviously the photo is of Morecambe Bay sunsets that is my subject really. have you got any advice that you give to any photographers oh to get involved always to get involved uh, one of my favorite art critics is uh, Jerry Saltz and he has a mantra get to work you big babies and that's the secret of any art whether it's photography or painting or anything, get to work, do the work, get out there, take the photos. That's the way you get better, that's the way you improve. My name's Matt Panish, uh, I'm the events coordinator, I think, for the festival. I think that was the title that we uh, ended up on. Um, uh, we've got the Stanley Kubrick uh, photographic exhibition and the retrospective, and that was kind of my baby, really. I'm a huge Kubrick fan. 
uh, and you know, the whole thing started out with a desire really to see 2001 on the big screen, which I've never done in my entire life. And, uh, if it's not there, then do it yourself, basically, is the punk attitude. So have you found the exhibition today? It's great. Um, we, we started off, it was a, a very strange journey, to be honest. There was a, a chap called John Passmore who worked with Kubrick, and, uh, and his daughter just put on Facebook and got some photographs uh, of Barry Lyndon. Would anybody like to see them? <laughs> they collectively Facebook went, <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and we went, we saw them, and a lot of them had been published before and so on, but he said I worked with this gentleman called Norrie McLaren, and I've not seen him for 50 years or so, so uh, I got in touch with Norrie, found him, tracked him down, and then that's where we got these photographs from, which are 31 unseen photos of um, Kubrick working on Barry Lyndon. And uh, I interviewed Norrie for this, uh, it's online, or if you come to the uh, exhibition you'll be able to hear it. Uh, and he just uh, told us about his life, which is fascinating. He was a 22 year old man when he sort of got this gig. And it was at the start of his career. Uh, and it gave him a career. He ended up publishing magazines like The Face and ID and Boulevard, which were real big art magazines uh, of the time. The Face was very much a 90s magazine. It was all in the heady days of cocaine. Champagne and all of that show for driven limousines. But he was part of that scene as well. So we kind of didn't touch on that. We talk, talked about his time with Kubrick, and um, what was amazing was just his memory, as sharp as a book. What advice would you give to any aspiring photographers who would like to take part in this exhibition possibly next year? Take some photos. But really, uh, what, what was great about the exhibition, the local uh, photography exhibition, is that we got photos from amateurs as well as professionals, as well as um, just people snapping away on the phone. We tried to make it as inclusive as possible. And that was really Anna and Darren's brainchild to, to um, sort of um, the reason, actually, that if you come to the photos, lots of them are in different shapes and sizes. And the reason for that is because of the different media that they were taken. Uh, so some of them just wouldn't blow up. Um, however, we were judging them all on a computer screen, which was a great leveller, I found. So uh, if you want to get involved, take some snaps and send them in. How important do you think this festival is to express the, like art from photography to film in this area? It's a very good question. I think Morecambe is uh, one of those traditional Victorian seaside towns who's had a pretty shoddy 80s, 90s and noughties, but it seems to be on the rise. What's happened is the city dwellers have found out that they quite like the seaside. So they're coming into the seaside and, and uh, you know, usually uh, your bohemians and the like and your artisty types um, need somewhere cheap to live and more can certainly do that. So I came here seven years ago. I mean, look at that out there. Seriously, the spin that came around. That's just gorgeous. It's really one of the most beautiful scenes that you could ever see, the view of the bay. Uh, it is, it's glorious. It's like the Circassian Mountains out there. But um, I think this festival is now gonna um, be a capstone on, <laughs> It's a month-long festival, and whilst it's sort of seen to be uh, punctuated by a series of events, I think next year it's going to be bigger and broader, and those events will thicken out. Um, this weekend we've actually got Jan Harland coming, who's Stanley Kubrick's brother, and uh, who I'm very excited about, to be honest, and who's executive producer on everything from Clockwork Orange to Eyes Wide Shut. So these are some of the biggest films, most respected films that have ever been made, ever. So I think if we can continue to punch as high as we are, then we actually got the opportunity to make something really kind of special, not only for the Northwest, but I think for most coastal towns. There's a little roadmap or a model that we're trying to develop here. I think this is an integral part of it.